There are certain things in Islam that are absolutely unacceptable. They're taboo, they're forbidden, they're haram, they're, they're evil. But our children see them every day. They see this stuff every day. You can't even avoid it. They're looking out their window and they see a billboard. You know, they're just watching cartoons and an ad comes on. They see this stuff. Most of you put them in school, and I don't even say Islamic schools are safe, because most kids in Islamic school are watching the same shows that the kids in public school are watching. And they're talking about it at the school too. Let's face reality for a moment. They are exposed to a lot of stuff. They really are. So the first time your daughter comes home and starts talking about some, you know, some Disney boy that they're, you know, that, that they're pushing on in the media, or some girl that sings a lot of songs, and these are filthy role models, filthy. They're worse than animals. I'd rather my, my, my children watch like puppet animals than watch these people because they behave worse than animals, wallahi. These Dahana Montanas of the world are the filth of the planet. They really are. And to have, and I've seen this, little Muslim girls with hijab on, going to Islamic school with a Hana Montana book bag. What is wrong with you parents? What happened to you? This is unacceptable. But when your children bring something like that up, they say something like that. They say something that is completely unacceptable to you. What happens to most parents? This is wrong. You don't talk about these things. Astaghfirullah. Say Astaghfirullah. He's like, oh. Fine, I guess you don't want to talk about it. I'll just talk to my friends about it then. You basically told them, if you have something that is of this nature, of a controversial nature, don't talk to me about it. But does that mean they'll not talk about it at all? They will talk to someone, and who's it going to be? Their friends. Most of the time they're non-Muslim friends, from whom they will get non-Muslim kinds of advice. You close the doors to communication.